Hey everyone, it's Craig from Flying Wheels with my lovely lady right here. Today we are going on dune buggies. St. Lucia, right hand drive, four speed transmission. Okay. Right hand drive Civic. Right hand drive Nissan. Diesel. Get some dune buggy rentals today with that guy. I have two options. All over the island. Automatic or manual. Which would you choose? Just kidding, I know what you choose. I spy with my own eye an Evo 4 right hand drive. So the buggy we're taking today, the guy's actually welding it two minutes before we take off. Would you go in it? Here are all the buggies. Right hand drive, four speeds. Is it a four cylinder or a three cylinder? Probably a three cylinder. Four speed manual transmission, three cylinder buggies, right hand drive. Gotta learn how to drive on the opposite side of the road, the wrong side of the road. And we had our option of automatic and manual. We made the obvious choice. Okay, we get to rip it up. Let's go. All right, we got first gear, right hand drive. Driving the wrong side of the road. Shifting with my left hand this whole time. It came completely natural to me without even thinking about it. As I'm stalling, <laughs> I take that back. <laughs> taking left turns would typically be more difficult. Here it's not. You scoot right over like you're taking a right at home. Taking a right is where it's the most difficult. I have to let all these Caribbean people stop and let me go, which doesn't normally happen, and then get to cut out into the lane. Taking a right turn across the road. What I noticed is none of these buggies have license plates. So two in front of me, two behind me, and us. None are actually registered for the road. And we're driving on all the public streets with no problems. No one's even looking at us with a weird look. It's hard to be stalling. Oh, there we go. All right. They run a little rough. Not me. The buggy. It's running a little rough today. Mustang, um, 
which I'm just curious to see one in right-hand drive. I've never actually seen one. And it's the first Mustang that I've seen on the island. Mustang right there. Yeah, it looks the same. Oh wait, hey, that's left-hand drive. So that was a normal Mustang on the island. They must have had to import it. We're on the highway now in traffic, trying to merge with people that won't let you merge. We've lost two of our drivers up front and one behind already. The traffic is ridiculous in this on this island. But so far so good. What's going on here? We got our first accident. Police are on the scene. So I'm just noticing now that I'm looking at my gauges and not focusing on the road so much anymore. I don't have a temperature gauge. My gas light is blinking at me. And my directionals don't work. And my wipers don't work. So am I on empty? I don't know. Am I overheating? I also don't know. And it started raining this morning, so if it rains and I can't turn my wipers on, I'm in trouble. So we're parked on a hill. And it says put it in our parking gear and pull the emergency brake. So I pulled the emergency brake. But what I noticed was this right here. There's no emergency brake. This is the Atlantic side. You see how tough it can get. That wind we're getting constantly. If we continue going east, directly east, this is where we get all the hurricanes coming up over the last three years. Just died on the side of the road. Oh, you can start it up. Play it first. This gearbox. This gearbox is absolutely gigantic. It's so sloppy. And second gear touches the passenger seat. So second gear is pretty much the driving gear in this car. And I can't get it in second because it touches the uh, the racing seat that's been installed through it. And if I try to do it too fast. Side of the 
side roads. Uh, nothing amazing yet in the dune buggy, but uh, zip lining is fun. Mm -hmm. There is no kickoff, there is no acceleration. 